Hey guys, Shreds here from Legacy Division, and today we're bringing the latest war recap against Cold Warfare. Not really a close war, as you can see. Their average destruction was 80% and they couldn't 3 star our Tunnel 11s, but we'll dive right into the attacks. First off, we're going straight down to 8, and this is MDG4 hitting Taylor with a Queen Walk Dragons. Few minions on the left to funnel. And you can see the very exposed air defenses. Throws four loons down with a haste on the right. Takes down the air defense. Gets two seekers triggered as well. Queen starts down on the left side. Probably nabbing this air defense. The queen and the bottom air defense. King up top to funnel. Queen is aggroed, tosses down a rage to keep queen up. And queen will work her way down. One seeker triggers, but queen is only facing this cannon until she hits that air defense. Seven dragons go down in a line. The dragon deployment could have been better and the hound could have been later. He could have easily placed down dragons here, here, and here first, followed by dragons on the wizard tower and above to make sure they funnel it into the core, but that's no problem. The rage was also a little bit misplaced as it didn't quite catch those two dragons until later. Does take care of the CC. And second rage also a little bit misplaced, but that's fine. Tesla farm pops at the bottom. He has one rage left. Queen finally takes down the last air defense. And the rest here is just clean up. We'll just fast forward. Uses the rage on the queen because she only had three healers and she was facing a Tesla farm. A few dragons up top, finishing up that top compartment. Basically swags the queen ability. Probably could have swagged the rage as well. Archers, dragons, pups. Cleaning up on the last collector and of course queen is banging on a wall. Going down a little bit to 13. This is an HPHG, but notice the time and notice the defense levels. This is a completely maxed out base, and the attacker only has 13, 15 heroes. Giants down, no healers down yet. A rage down, and finally, finally the healers are down. The CC is triggered. A few bowlers do walk out. Heroes aren't down yet. This just goes to show how strong HPHG is, even after the queen stray and the bowler stray. Deploys a few hogs up top. First heal down, that was probably a bit wasted as only a cannon was firing on them, but then the Tesla farm pops. So that was justified. King and Giants up in the core. Second heal should be placed very soon as Hogs close in on the expo. There it is. Queen working the outside as King and Giants tank the bottom. Queen will probably finish off this cannon as Hogs close in on the last air defenses. King, few bowlers, and giants are still up. Queen is at almost no HP. Finally nabs that last cannon. Takes down that archer tower as hogs close in on it, and that's a wrap. We'll fast forward through the cleanup. Going down a little bit more to 17, 
getting hit by our very own Nateo with an HPHG. Baby Dragon on the bottom to funnel. Notice the heroes versus the defensive levels. Only thing not maxed are heroes and expos. One more wizard finished off that camp, so bowlers will go inside. That drill may be a problem for the bowlers, as they will stray to here, here, and moving on. Giants down, healers down. Very nice funnel set for the bowlers. Bowlers in. First rage goes down as CC is engaging the HBHG. Everything gets shredded when the healers are under rage. Giant bomb triggers, heal, healers heal them right back up to full. Bowlers do stray, but not to where I was expecting them. And giants in the core are completely destroying it. Few surgical hogs on distracted wizard towers. And cannon. Queen giants and a few healers are still in the core, tearing that apart. Hogs are up top. Surgical Waterfall, which I really like. Heal down to receive the Giant Bomb. Still has a heal in the bag for the last segment. And this one is a wrap. Notice the hero levels. You can do HBHG with even probably 5-5 five five as long as your troops are all max. It's mostly a bowler based and healer based combo rather than the heroes doing most of the heavy lifting. And going down to our last attack by our boy Lennit. He's using a Queen Walk Lalo. Minions down to funnel. One wizard. And he's probably going to charge his queen up this little compartment to nab two or three air defenses. Great funnel. That one loon is probably meant to aggro the queen. And friendly queen finally engages. Rage down, barely catching the healers. The ability was probably wasted, but can't blame him. Poison down, probably needs another rage. Doubles poison. Double, ra double poison and there's a second rage. Queen barely makes it out. The Lalo is starting. Surgical, notice the surgical loons. Two on the archer tower, two on the cannon, two on the archer tower to make sure they all close in at the same time. Second hound into tank as loons very nicely collapse on the air defense in the wizard tower. Rage down to receive the Teslas and to move the loons up to the second air defense. One more hound goes in tanking for that wizard tower and that archer tower. Final hound goes in. Uh, that's debatable placement, but no, loon, no loons left on that final air defense, strangely enough, but the pups do get it. Last fat hound coming over. Still at full health. That loon does go down on that archer tower. That splash finally grabs that, and a fat hound is just giving a lap dance to the Tesla. He's sitting on it. Queen, queen, king, two gobs, and pups for cleanup. This base is wrecked.
Now we'll wrap up today's recap. Thanks for watching. Shards out.